Now let's move on, and I'd like to introduce the next section, and that is body language. Now, is this body language? No, that's not body language. Just because the stomach's talking does not mean it's body language. Body language is an extension of facial expressions because the body has to kind of go along with what your facial expression is showing. Now, in this case, we'll draw a guy who's totally exhausted. I'll start with my pencil on this one. And we'll draw a fella leaning over a chair and have a real long body here all the way down to his feet going up like this. And here's his arm coming back. And here's his other arm coming out like that. And this is just going to block in for where the chair is. All right, now I'll go back with my marker. And first, we'll draw his facial expression. Now, here's his nose and his mouth. Well, he's exhausted. It's down like that. And his tongue is just hanging out. And here's his eyes. And I'm going to stagger the eyelids. I have one going there and one going there, not quite meeting. And now his eyes are in the middle. I'm making it look bloodshot. Just put a little lines like that around it. Now, here's his eyebrows. Here's his ear. And his hair is all messed up because he's exhausted. Here's his facial outline. And here's his arm. Now, coming down like this. And his hand is going back. Did you ever see somebody coming towards you, walking towards you, and you, know, and you know the person just by their walk? You don't even see who it is yet, but you just say, oh, that's so-and-so coming. That's body language because it's very important. And in cartooning, it's important too. Now, watch this line right down here, straight down, another one right here, and right here we'll give him a waist. There's his waist, and we're going to separate this for his legs. Now we'll put in his feet. Now we're going to see the bottoms of his feet, so we'll just see a little bit of the side, and there's the bottom. When you're drawing the bottom of the feet, put those lines in there, and I always make one heavy line like there for where the heel was. And you can even put some detail like that. Same thing over here. Here's this other foot. Okay, now here's his arm coming up and his hand. Well, it's kind of resting on his forehead and it's coming back. And let's finish that chair up a little bit. And put some detail in there. Now, a shadow goes right underneath the chair, right to his feet. Now for the cartoon effects and accessories, you can't forget those. Swirlies, a lot of sweat. This guy's been through it, even a sound effect. Whew. And there you have it. I'll throw a little quick color into this guy, because it came out so good. So when you're drawing, always think of the big picture. That means body language and how you can extend the facial expression. These are your actors, folks. These are the people that help tell your story. Oh, I see. What else we can give? Oh, I know. How about a purple shirt? I like that. So, with your style, keep at it and watch your style emerge all by itself. And because there are so many styles to choose from, you can pick the one that works just right for you.